Good morning. Welcome to Storytime at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. My name is Michelle McClagan and I am the director of the library here in Lisbon. And today for Storytime, we are reading Good Night Astronaut, written by astronaut Scott Kelly. And we have been given permission from the publisher, which is Penguin Random House, to read this book aloud today. Good night, astronaut. I was born for adventure, a blur of motion and energy times two. Twin trailblazers up for anything. But even explorers get tired. We fight sleep like an enemy. Mom says rest is our friend. If you close your eyes and dare to dream, you can go anywhere and you can do anything. Good night, my astronauts. Beds are boring, but sleeping high off the ground, snug in our bags like cocoons, takes us a step closer to the moon. The yard seems awake and alive, the stars are our shimmering night lights. On a family cruise, our boat rocks us to sleep, feet to feet in our matching berths. When the waves are rough, we bounce into the air and float just for a second, like we are in the zero gravity of space. As brothers grow up, we chase dreams of our own. On my first solo adventure, the woods seem so big and my tent feels so small. The hard ground cradles me as the wind lulls me to sleep. Come morning, I carry my home in a pack on my back, ready to chart my new path. At school on the ocean, sailors crowd the ship decks, learning to steer. I take the helm, watching the horizon, exploring the high seas. Then I grab some sleep in a narrow bunk stacked three beds tall. Sleep tight, crewmates. Sliding silently through the sea, we patrol the depths under the crushing weight of water, safe in a long metal tube with no day and no night. We're secret sentries guarding against danger in our submarine below the ocean waves using the periscope to lift our eyes above the water. When our watch is over, we eat in the mess, then hot rack to sleep, taking turns because there are more people than beds. The skies called me back up to the surface to become a floating pilot. I always go for launch in a jet called a Tomcat on a carrier ship in a cockpit on a flight deck strapped in tight. I stand the alert but waiting can be tiring. So a quick combat nap keeps me ready to fly whenever and wherever I'm needed. Icy woods are chilling a frozen world like the darkness of space. We learn to survive in this dangerous place and sleep in a snow house tucked in between friends. Our wintry blanket keeps us warm inside, but not too toasty or our shelter will melt around us. Aquanauts learn to be astronauts living under the sea. I sleep in a fishbowl, dreaming of space, the place I long to be as the sea life looks in, wondering what aliens have invaded their watery home.
as I sleep under a clear bubble in the far north, the aurora borealis paints the night sky with a rainbow of color from the solar wind bumping into Earth's outer reaches. The dancing lights put on a magical show. A yurt is the perfect shelter for a high alpine perch. Mount Everest Base Camp near the highest place on Earth. There's so little oxygen, it sometimes hurts to breathe. More stars than I've ever seen seem close enough to touch. After all the training, hard work, and dreaming, I finally leave the Earth on a shuttle called Discovery. An astronaut at last! I work and sleep with our crew of seven in a workspace the size of a double-decker minivan. Spending Christmas among the stars is an unforgettable gift. One brother on Earth and the other above, one watches over our planet as the other watches over our families. Then we switch places. Now it's my turn to live in space for a whole year. I learn to sleep in a bag, hanging on a wall as visions of our beautiful planet fill my mind and my heart. Many trips, many missions, our shared dreams have come true. Of all the places I've gone and all the places I've slept, I've come to discover that home is the best. In my own cozy bed with my family nearby, I sleep soundly knowing my mission is done. So good night, future astronaut. Start dreaming. Your adventures await. That is the end of the story, but there is some extra information at the end of the book that I thought I would just go ahead and read aloud to you. So it says here, my dreams have taken me all over the world from the deepest ocean to the highest mountains and even into space. Now it's time for your dreams to take flight. Remember, if we dream it, we can do it. Here are some photos of the places I've slept on planet and off. This one here says, Mark and me in front of our family home in West Orange, New Jersey, where all our childhood dreaming took place. This one is Mark and me on our family boat at the Jersey Shore. Me at my college graduation in front of the Empire State Five, the ship we learned to sail during summer voyages. I spent a summer training on the submarine USS Lajala SSN-701. I flew the F-14 Tomcat off the carrier ship USS Eisenhower with my squadron, the Pukin Dogs. I trained for space by living and working on the ocean floor 62 feet below the ocean surface in the Aquarius habitat off Key Largo, Florida. My first mission on the Space Shuttle Discovery was to fix the Hubble Space Telescope. Sleeping in my quarters on the International Space Station required being zipped into a bag on the wall so I didn't float away while I dreamed. And that is the end of the book. Once again, this is called Goodnight Astronaut, and it is written by a real astronaut named Scott Kelly. This book is available at the library. If you would like to borrow it, take it home and read it. We look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 9 a.m. for story time. And as always, these videos are available for a limited period of time, but you can watch them other than 9 a.m. on Wednesdays. My name again, Michelle McClagan, and I'm the director of the library here in Lisbon. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Take care.
Bye-bye.